Hi everyone, this is more of an update tutorial, it's not a full length um, video. Basically what I'm going to be doing is, in my register script, someone pointed out to me that um, I need some kind of check to note if the user has been registered uh, or not, the username that they specify. Let me just take you back to our form, which is here, where you're going to type a, uh, your full name, you're going to choose a username and a password. Um, I've had these values in here before, so let's just get rid of them for now. But basically what we want is, when we're choosing a username, uh, if say I was registering the username Alex, uh, inside our database, we can see here that a username already exists with Alex. So what we're doing is we're going to check for the existence of a username already. If the user um, name does exist, if the username does exist, we're not going to let the user register because we don't want a double username. Uh, as it stands at the moment, if I was to register um, here, uh, let's just put uh, BCA, so like a password in, and choose a username. Um, the username Alex is already in the database. Um, let's just change this for um, for namesake, and I click register, and I've been successfully registered. And if we look inside our database. We can see that we have two usernames um, with Alex. Now this causes problems when logging in. Um, the first uh, occurrence of the name, so this one here, will be logged in. This one will be ignored. So this, this person really, um, in hindsight, will never be able to log into the database. So what we need to do, let's just delete this, is we need to create some kind of check to see if the username already exists. Now this is incredibly easy. Uh, there are more than one method of this. There are there is more than one method of doing it. But I'm going to go for the simplest, probably, um, and it's really effective. So this is going to work. The first thing I want to do is take my um, my uh, date my code to open my database, rather connect to my database, and selecting my database. Um, I want to take this up to um, just where the um, submit button is checked. So um, what we've got is we're just uh, connecting to the database um, inside here. And then under here, I can start my code to check my uh, username. Now, uh, bear in mind, you can put your check anywhere. Um, for simplicity, I'm just going to shove it in here, and I'm going to kill the rest of the script if the um, user uh, name has already been found. But you can put it anywhere. Uh, bear in mind, if you are using a full-length page and it is your website, um, the die function is going to cut off the rest of the code. So I don't recommend using this. Um, I recommend encasing what the checks that you already have um, inside an if statement and not really to kill the script but you will uh, get the general um, idea of it here and how to work what we're trying to do so let me get on with it what we need what we need to do is we need to set up a query that specifies um, uh, taking a uh, record with a with a particular username so I'm gonna set up my um, name check query here I'm going to give it a name check uh, the variable name name check and this is going to be a uh, MySQL query and I'm going to select let's say username for um, simplicity um, this is not going to select all the bits of data like we'd get if we use an asterisk it's going to take more time so I'm selecting username from uh, users uh, since that's our uh, table name down here and I'm going to say where username is equal to, and if we look up here, the username that the um, person uh, submits to the form is in the variable name username. So we can just come down here and type in username. Now, as it stands, if I were to say uh, choose the name uh, Alex, this would select every um, record in the database that has the name Alex. As we can see, there's one at the moment. Now, if I were to specify in this case with this only one record, if I were to specify the username as Dale, for example, um, no records will be returned. So therefore, um, the username wouldn't exist if no records are returned. So we need a function to check um, how many records are returned. And you can do this. Um, I'm going to create a count variable. And it is MySQL num rows. And it just returns the amount of um, records or rows rather, that contain uh, within your uh, query, which we have called name check. So let's just test this. Um, I'm going to echo out count, and then I'm just going to kill the script so the rest of it doesn't execute. I'm going to return to register. 
and I'm going to type my full name as let's say Alex my full name there choose a username I'm going to choose Dale in here and for the password I am just um, well at the moment the password isn't going to be checked because we've killed the script so um, if I just um, put that in there for the sake of it and I click register we can see that we've got a value of naught returned uh, because Dale isn't actually in the database uh, with regards to the username however if I was to change this to Alex Um, that would be with a small a because well in fact I think we've um, got um, no, we stripped tags um, the way to um, deal with case sensitivity as well so this is another pointer is uh, when we're taking the username into account uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say um, str to lower so str to lower so just to make sure we're always converting to lowercase and what we're going to do here is we are going to let me just find it um, click register and we can see that value of one is returned so really the check that we're looking for here the if statement is if um, this variable that we're echoing out at the moment is um, not equal to zero then we need to um, tell the user that the username is already registered uh, so here what we can do is create a simple if statement and our block and we can say if um, our count uh, doesn't equal zero meaning um, there is a record present under this condition where the username is already um, specified uh, then we can just kill the script and just say uh, username already taken or whatever you want to put so coming back here to refresh we can uh, choose Alex and let me say um, type in a password and click register you can see that we've got a username already taken error if I was to uh, type Dale and let's choose uh, a new name altogether and a password and click register we can see that this has been successfully registered um, into our database because the username doesn't exist so I'm going to leave it at that I don't want to go on too much more um, but there you can see we've had our registered user in um, add in your str to lower function this is a really useful thing to use to keep everything simple or you could just um, use a um, str to lower function to do an if statement however to keep it simple I recommend you convert all usernames to uh, lowercase just for simplicity and you need to incorporate in that, that into your login script as well you need to convert um, what the user has typed into the login box to lowercase um, but I'll leave that up to you to mess around with it's really up to you to um, find out your errors check them out but if you do need any help please feel free to email me uh, make sure you do subscribe and I look forward to making another tutorial soon thanks for watching